Hi guys. Welcome or welcome back to the Make It Simple YouTube channel. In this video, I will show you a tutorial. How to add a bounce effect to a video or a photo in the CapCut application. Here's an example. Before going to tutorials, I hope you subscribe to this channel first, and then click the bell button, so that you get a notification, every time there is a new video from me. Ok. To make a video bounce like before, open the CapCut application, and add the video or a photo, that you will give a bounce effect to. Next, also add music or songs to the project. For the music that I will use, you can open this CapCut music category. With the title song is, Fertile, on this one. Because it is too long. So here, I will cut this music first, according to what I want. After that, add beat points to the song to make it easier for us later. Next, cut your video. At each beat point in the song you've made. Ok, now is the time, to add a bounce effect to your video. Tap the first video clip, open the animations menu, select the M animation category. For this first video clip, I won't give it a bounce effect. But, with an effect called, zoom 1, and set the animation duration, to full. Well, then for the second video clip until the last video clip, I will give a bounce effect. The location of the bounce effect in the CapCut application, is in the Combo Animation category. And here, you will find two bounce effects. Namely Bounce 1 and Bounce 2. I will choose the Bounce 1 effect, and then, I set the duration to full. Ok, please add this Bounce 1 effect, to the next video clip until to the last video clip. Ok, the next step, you can give a white flash as a transition effect. To do that, tap on the transition menu at the intersection of these two video clips. Then, in this basic transition category, find an effect called white flash. Then set the duration to only about 0.1 seconds. Also tape apply to all so that this white flash effect can be applied to all existing video clip intersections. Specifically, for the first video clip and the third last video clip. Open the effects menu. Tap the party effects category. Then select the effect name, white flash. Adjust the position and duration of this effect according to the rhythm of the song. Next, you can copy this effect to the third last video clip.
OK. As a final touch, you can also create velocity edits to give a slow motion effect to the third, fifth, seventh, ninth, and so on video clips. To do that, tap the video clip. Open the speed menu. Tap the curves option. Then select the custom curve option. After that, you can increase the second beat point up to 10 times faster and lower the fourth beat point to 0.1 times slower. Okay, do the same to the fifth, seventh, ninth, and so on video clips. Yes. Now, let's play to see the final result. Okay, more or less like that. Finally, you can save the video with the bounce effect that you have edited to the gallery. Okay guys. That's a tutorial. How to edit a bounce video or a photo in CapCut. Complete with white flash and slow motion effects that I can show you in this video. I hope this video is useful. See you in the other upcoming CapCut video tutorials. And thanks for watching.